At the beginning of the movie, we are shown an interview with a scientist named Johannes. In the interview, Johannes is asked about his thoughts on the tsunami that hit Gay Ranger a year ago. Johannes believes that another earthquake could happen at any time and that no one can predict when it will occur. Despite this, he urges people to move on with their lives and not be afraid. After that, Christian comes on stage. Christian was the man who saved the lives of many people living in Geringer during the tsunami. After which, the scene cuts to three years later when Christian's daughter Julia has come to stay with him in Gay Ranger for the weekend. This is because Christian and his wife, Eden, have divorced and Eden has moved to Oslo with their son Sandre and daughter Julia. We now see Christian giving Julia a room in his house, which he has painted with pictures of the 250 people who died in the tsunami three years ago because Christian still blames himself for their death and he hasn't been able to recover from the accident. Julia tells her father that he saved many lives in the accident including her mom, but Christian is living in fear that he will hurt those he loves. So the next morning, Christian asks Julia to return to Oslo. Then one day, Christian hears on the news that part of the tunnel leading to Oslo has collapsed, killing his colleague geologist Connard, who was doing some sort of research at the site. Now Christian was quite surprised and saddened to hear the news that his colleague Connard had died in the collapsed tunnel leading to Oslo. After that, he opens a parcel that Connard had sent him a few days ago and finds that it contains some of Connard's research articles. In the articles, he wrote that a large earthquake hit Oslo in 1904 with a retro magnitude of 5, killing many people. According to Connard, there is a high probability of a large earthquake hitting Oslo in the near future. This is due to the increased seismic activity in the area in recent days. Carnard warns that this earthquake could be even bigger than the one that hit Oslo in 1904, which killed many people, the magnitude of which can range from 8 to 9. Now, when Christian hears about this, he becomes very worried for his family and leaves for Oslo without delay. Upon arrival, he goes straight to Nozar, where Connard used to work. There, he meets Johannes and tells him about Connard's research. Johannes then shows Christian his organization's seismic activity monitoring system. With its help, they monitor seismic activity worldwide. Johannes tells Christian that the seismic activity Connard was referring to is the construction explosions near Oslo and there is no great danger from them. But Christian was not content with this explanation, so he goes to Connard's house. There, Christian meets Connard's daughter, Merritt, and tells her that he is her father's colleague and that he is here to investigate her father's research. To which Merritt informs him that everything related to their work is in their office. In the office, Christian discovers a map among some rock samples that Connard was researching. He realizes that the seismic activities that Johannes was describing are actually much more significant than they originally thought. Afterward, he quickly contacts Johannes and relays everything to him. But Johannes blows off Christian's words, saying he won't pay attention to them. Afterward, he met with his family and eldest son, as well as his girlfriend. Then, he then met his ex-wife, and they had a conversation. But suddenly, the power went out. They both went to the basement of the house to check the fuse box, where Eden told Christian that the lights had gone out twice that week, and the suddenly, they heard the sound of some rats scurrying away from their nests. Eventually, the power returned. And then Christian apologized to Eden for his behavior up to that point. But Eden left without listening to him. The next day, Christian does not attend the ballet exams with Julia, but he does go to see Connard's research files. He requests Merritt to help him inspect the Oslo Tunnel. And they arrived there. Then, they then enter a maintenance gate near the ruins and Christian discovers some artifacts to research. They then leave for home. Now Eden calls Christian and asks if he will come to Julia's ballet audition. However, suddenly, the city lights go out, followed by an earthquake and the opera house begins to collapse. The visitors start to scatter outside, but Eden rushes into the building to find her daughter Julia. Julia was fortunately still safe. And after Eden pulled her out, 
She told Christian about it and asked him to get home. Now, from this shock, Christian also understood that it was not caused by an explosion. Then, he sees Johannes and his team there, who have come to find out about the earthquake. And then Christian asks Johannes if he still thinks it is a normal earthquake. Then Johannes tells him that the whole place is built in such a way that a slight movement can shake the whole city. At the same time, he also informs that the whole opera house was built on weak beams, which is why it suffered the most. Furthermore, he also tells him that he is aware that you have seen such an accident before. Then the next morning, Eden goes to work and Merritt finds a video from her father's laptop that she shows to Christian. Some of the rats in the video are dying in a strange way and apparently this experiment was done by Conard. Christian believes that the city of Oslo is about to experience a major earthquake today, which is responsible for a phenomenon called a limnic eruption, in which gas is suddenly released from the city's rocks. So Christian, Julia, and Merritt leave for the hotel where Eden used to work. On the way, Christian calls Sandre, but he can't pick up the call because he is in class. Christian messages him and tells him to leave immediately, but his teacher doesn't let him leave the class. Now Eden was on the 40th floor of the hotel, and Christian goes up to pick her up, but then he didn't come back for a long time, so Julia escapes Merritt and goes to the hotel. Merritt also follows her inside the hotel. On the other hand, Christian takes Eden and triggers the hotel's fire alarm, causing everyone to freak out and leave the hotel and Christian goes to the elevator with Eden. But before the elevator closes, he tells Julia there, but since the fire alarm is activated, the elevator will open directly to the ground floor. On the other hand, Julia and Martin reach the balcony of the hotel, and at the same time, an earthquake hits Oslo, which knocks Martin unconscious while she tries to save Julia. Meanwhile, Christian and Eden's elevator also suddenly stops. Due to this, both of them were now unconscious. Sandre, on the other hand, survived being under the table at the right time with his girlfriend in college. But some of the students were crushed to death in the debris, after which the rest came out safely. On the other hand, when Merritt regains consciousness, she sees Julia rescuing a hotel staff member whose foot was completely buried in the rubble. And then they both pull him out of the rubble. At the same time, Christian and Eden also regains consciousness. After which, they both leave the lift and take the maintenance stairs to bring Julia down from the top. Meanwhile, Merritt sees the building in front is about to fall on top of their hotel building, which collides straight into the hotel. And the floor above them starts to tilt to one side. Everything starts tumbling down. The hotel staff also slips and falls outwards in the same way. Merritt and Julia somehow manage to save themselves from falling. However, Eden's leg gets badly injured in the process. Christian manages to help her, and only then they do see a doctor on the third floor. Now, in order to reach the other side, they have to swing on the lift cable. Now Christian easily reaches the other side, but when Eden attempts to flow, the lift collapses. Now Christian gets very sad at the loss of Eden, but he also knows that he has to save Julia. He reaches the top floor without wasting any time, where he finds Julia and Martin. Together, they try to leave, but Julia falls due to the slope. She starts to slide right out, but Christian dives after her and pushes her to safety before managing to save himself. Now the glass of the window that Julia was hanging from was slowly breaking, but before it completely shattered, Christian caught Julia, and with the help of Merritt, Julia was saved by being pulled up. And then the three of them left the hotel building. Next, we see Merritt in her father's office, where she found a childhood photo of her with her father. On the other hand, Julia, Sandre, and Christian went back to their old home together. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have a movie you'd like us to recap, let us know in the comments. See you next time.